In this exercise, we wanted to sort SNMP numbers, to sort uh, these numbers, and uh, we have to make sure that the numbers like 12 here are bigger than these two, and they are so sorted accordingly. So we have a script, a skeleton of the script, and here we are going to have a list of SNMP numbers. We are going to read it from a file, but for, no for now, let's put here a couple of examples. So for example, we have uh, one point, um, 12 and 1.8 and this is actually the opposite order so first comes 1.8 and then comes 1.12 and then we also have another 1.12 that should be the same uh, doesn't matter which one comes first and then there can be another one that looks like this 1.1 uh, one, let's say so this is the same at the beginning, but uh, this is shorter, so this uh, needs to come before the longer one. And I think basically uh, these are the cases, more, more or less. So what we need here is a way to sort them. So I call sort and SNMP, and then we print them out. So let's say we print it out with uh, joining them together with a, with a new line and printing that out and then after the join printing out also another new line and if I call this uh, sort SNMP number script Perl sort SNMP then it will give me a syntax error and I line 7 so let's switch back line 7 is where we are and that's a syntax error because I forgot to put the comma here and this time now it just prints out the values after sorting them as strings. But the strings, sing, so, string sorting means that this 12 comes before the 8, not because of the 12, but because this one comes before the 8. What we need is um, put here a sorting function, which would say by or s snmp number s snmp number and then that would sort uh, the numbers but then this means that we have to use dollar a and dollar b in this uh, function which i don't really like so instead of that we'll compare we'll say this is the compare snmp function that gets the dollar a and dollar b from by, uh, given by the sort function and then the whole thing is in the in a um, block like this um, I think it's better if I just separate it out so I, I put this into a separate place my result is in here and then printing out the result and the new line at the after it actually here I have to put it in parentheses right at that and then Implementing the this subroutine CMP SNMP is the task. So the, the the subroutine gets two values, the first one and the second one. There's no real good name for these because they are just SNMP numbers. And uh, as a beginning, let's return what the first compared to the second gives us. So this would do, should be the, the default sorting that we had earlier. I just wanted to make sure that I don't have a syntax error, but I do at line 8. So I jump there. And that's because uh, I have this print. This is missing from here. So the semicolon was missing and then now it's working. So it does the same printing uh, out as earlier. It just uh, you can just see that uh, this is the default sorting. What we need is compare numbers, each number. For that, we'll have to split up the strings into parts. So we create an array called let's say x, which uh, or let's say f for first, and I split up the 
according uh, the first string where uh, we find a dot I have to escape that dot that's the reason for this backslash and I split up the first string and I do the same with the second so and uh, the second will be the array s which will be which I do the exactly the same I have to split up the second string and then we'll have to go over these elements somehow but before that actually if the two strings are the same so if the first and this equals to the second then we can already return we can already return zero because then they are the same so we there's no no reason to to further try to uh, compare them then what we need is compare go over the elements here one by one and uh, compare them if we end up, if all of them are the same, uh, and then we reach the end, then uh, the first thing, the, the the shorter one should go first. So we'll have to go over somehow the elements, and uh, the best way here is to go over for my dollar i the index of the elements. So we go from zero till the largest index of the first uh, array and uh, that's what we are going to do here so what happens if we go over all this array we don't need this compare anymore here we go we went over the older uh, array we'll compare each value if we can decide good we'll return right from that point if we can't decide and we reach the end it means that the first array ended, the first string ended, the second hasn't yet, but they were the same up to this point. So this means that the first thing need, string needs to come first, because it's the case like 1.1.1 1 .1 is the first and 1.12 is the second, then no, actually not. And the case would be uh, if I have one, uh, another string like 1. Dot, sorry, 1.1. One dot one dot 3. So if I compare this string or the 1.1.3 to this one, then the this one this this needs to come first. So let's change the order and have it here and then we'll see that that needs to be swapped. So this means that if the whole uh, loop ended, then we have to return here minus 1 because this means to keep them in the same order as they were and we don't care, need this return so if we fi finished but in the in the middle what happens what happens in this loop so we have to compare the two values and here at this point you know if the value in the first string if the value in the first string is smaller than the value in the second string then we know that the first thing must come first so we return minus one on the other hand if the opposite let's copy it copy it if the first thing is bigger than the, the second string the value in the second string then we have to return one otherwise they are equal and so we go to the next sorry next iteration of this loop so the first in the first case we return minus one the second case we, we return one and if they were the equal up till the end of the first loop first uh, up, up till the end of the loop meaning all the elements of the first uh, array are the same that's the second array then we return minus one now there is one case here that we haven't uh, dealt with. What happens if the if they are the same all the way, but the second ends earlier than the first? So what happens if the, the if uh, the dollar s in this current place is not defined? Is not defined. If not defined, then we already know that they were the same up till this point, because that's how we got to this place. But the second one ended, so we have to return one, return 
one because that's uh, that means that the second string was the shorter. So now if I run this, this is what I got. So we have one. All of them start with a one. That's the same. And then here we have two strings. And the shorter one, which have the same prefix, the shorter one comes first. Then uh, eight is com coming after one, and twelve comes after eight. And then, well, we can't really make any differentiate between the two versions of 1.12. So that's it. That's how you can sort an SNMP number. And then you have now this function, and we can use it in several places.